with Maddie Hayden, who is back for our ambassador for the Million Dollar Fish Season 2 competition. Maddie, you must be pretty excited for Season 2. Yeah, bigger and better than, than uh, the first season for absolute certain. We've got almost double the prize money and we've also got you know, heaps of prizes in addition just to the registration, 160k. Um, so you don't actually have to fish to be a winner. I mean, obviously we want everyone to fish and why wouldn't you? There's a million dollar fish out there somewhere and there's also a hundred um, $10,000 fish. So you see the competition has definitely got bigger and we're all really excited about it. So why have you come back on board? What do you like about the competition so much? Uh, well, I think it's more than just the competition. I think it's, you know, for me, I almost feel Territorian. You know, I've been coming up here for over 20 years and love the lifestyle. And so for me, fishing is just a, a, a big part of that. Um, the recreational fishing industry is alive and buzzing here. And I think, you know, this tournament in particular, it drags you know, so many people from interstate. Uh, last year we had, you know, almost 25,000 people that registered from interstate um, and they voted with their feet. They came up here, they loved what they saw and they also spent a lot of money, you know, in various other industries. So from caravanning, which we see behind you, Jayco's come on board as a partner this year, $30,000 caravan that's uh, a stakeholder, which could be yours. Um, but then there's all the other operators, um, the resorts, um, the various, uh, you know, the various um, retail outlet that you come and spend time uh, in the territory to create that unique memory for yourself. And this season, season two, we've got a real big push uh, to drive people to our regions to to search for the tag fish in our regions, Tiwi Islands, Arnhem Land, Catherine as well. Mm. Um, I guess what type of fishing is available out there to make sure that we get the tourists pushing out to our regions? Yeah, well, I think I've classified this as being the people's fishing tournament and the reason why is because you don't need a million dollar boat. There might be a million dollar fish out there, but you know, there's lots of different uh, and very diverse ways that you can fish for barramundi, um, both land and, and boat based. Um, but as you said, it's, it's the prestigious areas that these fish have been released. I mean, the Kakadu area is, you know, world heritage listed. It's phenomenal as a destination let alone how good it is for a fishing tournament. The Tiwi Island's exactly the same. I mean, it basically shaped Australia's history. Um, you know, so these areas, you know, are so unique to the Northern Territory, uh, as is the famous NT Barramundi, which um, has got a tag on its back waiting for you to register <laughs> and get out there and get amongst it. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's great to have you back on board as our Million Dollar Fish Ambassador. We want all our fishing tour operators and our tourism industry to get behind season two. It is going to be great. Yep, it's going to be a cracker.